21st time in its series history. The Z-Max Cars Tour comes to Hickory Motor Speedway, but for the seventh time, it means a little bit more. The throwback 276 is underway. Sit back and enjoy this one from Newton. Turn four, Connor Hall will be the first one back to the stripe. A battle for second, starting the four between Millington and Hedger. Hedger goes to the top side, three wide on left, number two at Hickory. Millington down to the bottom. He gets the best in of it. Hedger trapped on the top side. They didn't waste any time. Connor Hall leads again on lap number two. We've been talking about how great the racing has been. These drivers are saying we're going to keep it rolling. Somehow, Hedinger slots into second in the outside lane. And two-time track champion Ryan Millington goes to the point as the crowd waves their hats and hands on the front stretch. There is so much happening. Got a car on the pace. It's Trayton Lapsovich up the track and slowing to a stop in turns three and four. And that will draw the first shitty coolers caution of the night. We are hearing word from race officials that that penalty was assessed for the number 72 of Creighton Lapsovich. As we get back underway, just a mere 15 laps into this one, Ryan Millington has taken the race lead from Connor Hall and led every lap since. But now Ronnie Bassett Jr. looking for the second spot. Ronnie Bassett Jr. is an article put together by NASCAR.com's Brandon White said the one thing that he wants to do more than ever is take his family to Cookout Victory Lane. They are always with him at driver introductions. Is now Barry peeking down to the inside off of two trying to make a move on Connor Hall. Oh, they're just about locked together there in three and four. Barry now may have an avenue to duck low in turn one and Hall is going to give him the room. And again, I think that's a smart move for Connor Hall. He'll try to let Barry by before Mini Tyrell gets in line, and indeed he does. And again, I think that's a smart decision from the Nelson Motorsports camp, whether it's spotter, driver, whoever made that decision. Again, Josh Barry, you're not racing him for a championship. You have a lot to lose. Josh Barry, he's out here to win a race, which would be yet another on his illustrious resume here. The Z-Max Cars Tour presented by Sound Gear would be his 23rd if he went to victory lane. But if you're Connor Hall, you got a little bit of bear picture. Caution. Oh. Big crash off the corner. Connor Jones looks to be okay. We'll see it one more time. Oh, oh my gosh. That is a brutal impact. And Millington, Bassett, your top two. We're back underway at Hickory. Bassett able to clear for second, but maybe no. Josh Berry down to the inside looking for third. Hall on his outside now looking to reclaim that spot. Tyrell looks like he's clear up into fifth. Hefner and McCarty behind him side by side for sixth. Right now, Connor Hall is doing a really good job being able to take the fight to that of Berry on that top lane as they work their way off turn number four. And it looks like he is going to protect the third spot on the main straightaway and stop the progression of that of Berry, who will have to continue to ride in the fourth position with Tyrell just behind in the 81. But Quapo getting a nudge aside behind him by Diaz. Very quickly, Diaz and Huffman, oh, as Quapo gets tagged, he'll save the race car. More damage incurred on the eight as Diaz slid into the middle of one and two. Now Quapo tries to get down. Huffman will give him a shove. Quapo drifting all the way around turn four as he's still hanging on to it, but that car not driving to his liking right now. The contact probably ain't helping. That save in turn two was amazing. And you see how badly crinkles off the front balance of that car is, or should say the front bumper of that car is, with Huffman, who is just involved in the spin, trying to get up to the 14th spot. That's what that race is for, with Connor Zillish just, just ahead of that battle. As there is hard-fought racing happening all around this 3 8 of a mile oval. Huffman and Quapple side by side. Again, Huffman honoring his father, Rod Robert Huffman, who was the track champion here in 1989, 1998, he did so twice. This was the paint scheme that he won here in his final late model stock car win at Hickory Motor Speedway that came all the way back in 1993. He spoke to Landon earlier today. He was wearing an original throwback shirt, or the original shirt, I guess, not the throwback version of that shirt. But oh, trouble back straight away. Andrew Brady hard into the inside oh. wall as he goes around off of turn number two. He is not pleased with one of his fellow competitors. And I think, yep, it's the 51. Oh, no, it's Landon Huffman. 
Grady gets the first hit of it. Down the inside of turn one, Diaz and Grady. Looks like Diaz is able to clear, but a little bit of contact between the 51 and the one just in front of him. And I think Huffman, by that point, had committed to the top side off the corner. Hendrickcars.com pace car is down through the Death Wish Coffee restart zone. Another great launch on the inside once again for Ryan Millington. But Bassett hanging tough on the high side. Millington will clear into the race lead. Connor Hall, big wiggle as he tries to look for second on the inside of Bassett. Hall still trying to keep that car pinned on the bottom, and Bassett's going to get the drive off, but not enough to clear the bow of the 17 car of Hall as he continues to try to keep a fender inside, but Bassett will protect second spot on the backstretch. They actually dominated at that racetrack, the same one that he lost his race car in Cars Tour practice earlier this year, and he ran second too. That driver that's ahead of all trouble, Brandon Pierce into the outside wall. Trey Glasovich involved as well. Know that maybe Brandon Pierce may absolve all liability from the 72 car based on his thoughts how they got together initially. But that tire was clearly down after the first bit of contact off two, resulting in this hard backing into the wall in that Carroll Speed Shop number two car. To the Death Wish Coffee restart zone, another fantastic launch up front for Ryan Millington, 47 laps to go at Hickory. Oh, Connor Hall drifted all the way through the corner. He saves it. McCarty checks up. Now he's three wide for a moment with Barry. Barry pulls on the binders. Here comes Brendan Queen looking to the inside. Butterbean thought about making it three wide on Barry. Thought better of it. The opportunity may exist off two. Hall to third. That's it second. Double wide outside the top five. That's Barry in the 62. Tyrell in the 81. And then the five of Queen and the 28 of Zillish up into the top ten. And Connor Hall in the 17, who I think once he lost the lead. Oh, we got a hard crash and fire in turn one. One car has gone in hard, and that's Buddy Isles. And Isles is quick to climb out of that car that is ablaze underneath the hood. So many names. We don't know who's going to bring home the checkered flag as they work through the Death Wish Coffee restart zone. Perhaps the best launch on the top side that we've seen for Ronnie Bassett Jr. so far, but it's still not going to be good enough to get the top spot. Contact behind for third, Kate Brown trying to throw some elbows and get up to the top four. He's tussling with three-time Hickory winner and car store champion Bobby McCarty, and he moves up to fourth to Zada Brown while Hall settles, settles into third. Brown to fourth, McCarty back to the inside. Connor Zill is trying to get up there as well, as they are nearly three wide off turn four. Top of turn two, he's going to get there. Now Connor Hall once again. We saw this earlier. Bassett was tough on the high side. May not have enough to fend off Connor Hall. In fact, in one quarter, Connor Hall goes on by the second. Shades of two years ago between Connor Hall and William Sawalich. Five to go, and Connor Hall is there on Ryan Millington. What is Connor Hall willing to do as he goes to the inside in three and four? Millington gives him room. Four laps to go, and Millington defends the lead. This is something we've seen at Hickory a lot this year, that high lane working, high entry, but great momentum off the corner for Ryan Millington, trying to drive away from Connor Hall. They'll come around this time. Three laps to go. Hall slips on the bottom. Millington able to drive away as he tries to fend him off. Millington doing everything just about perfect right now. We've seen how loose Hall's car has been when he has to hold a tighter radius off the corner, typically on restarts. Now in the battle for the win. Two to go as Hall looks low again. Millington going to stay on that high lane. He gives the bottom to Connor Hall as they work off the turn two. Millington still holding strong. Connor Hall is there as they go into three and four. White flag in the air. Millington slides up the hill. He's trying to save it. One more lap to go as they pass Brent Cruz. Millington into the back of Connor Hall. Hall is sideways off the turn two as they come around to three and four. Who's going to get back here first? Millington into the back of Connor Hall. He spins out, and Ryan Millington is going to cross the line at first, but is it going to stand? And they have just gone over to Ronnie Bassett Jr.'s car and handed him the checkered flag. They're pointing Ronnie Bassett Jr. to cook out victory lane for the first time.